In this video, we shall discuss how to prepare branch accounts under Debtas method. Uh, so I have explained the format of preparing branch account under Debtas method when goods are sent at cost price and a few solved problems. I have uploaded another video which explains uh, how to prepare branch accounts under Debtas method when goods are sent at invoice price and also stock and debtors method. The links I have given it in the description box. Now let's move on to this video. This is the format of a branch account. Branch account will be in the form of a ledger account. We will have a debit side and we will have a credit side. Okay, we will give a title in the books of head office. We are going to prepare the branch account. Okay, in the debit side, we will record all expenses. Branch account uh, is a nominal account. So in the debit side, we will record expenses and in the credit side, we will record all receipts. Okay, so now what is the first item that will appear in the branch account? We have to record all opening assets. So we will record to balance brought down. What are we going to write under this two balance brought down? We have to write all the opening balance of assets which are given in the questions one by one. Uh, that is if uh, stock, opening stock, opening data, then op furniture, then um, petty cash likewise. What are all the opening assets that are given in the question? We will write one by one and we will write the amount in the amount column. So when we are writing the opening balance in the debit side, we will have, we have to write the closing balance also. So in the credit side, we will record the closing balance by balance carried down. All the closing balance, the closing balance of assets that is given in the question, we will record it one by one and write the amount in the amount column. Okay. So similar to the opening balance of assets and closing balance of assets, we have to record liabilities also. Opening balance of assets, we are recording it in the debit side. So where will we record the opening balance of liabilities? It should be recorded in the credit side by balance brought down. Opening balance of all liabilities that is given in the question, creditors, uh, outstanding expenses, bills payable, likewise, what are all the uh, opening balance of liabilities given in the question that we will record it in the credit side. Similarly, we have to record closing balance that we will record it in the debit side to balance carried down. We will record all closing liabilities. We will record it one by one and write the amount in the amount column. Okay, so after recording the opening balance of assets, closing balance of assets, opening liabilities and closing liabilities, we have to record goods sent to branch. Uh, we all know that a dependent branch cannot make its own purchases. It will receive the goods that is sent to it by the head office. So we have to record that to goods sent to branch. Whatever amount is given in the question, we have to write it in the amount column. Then after recording that, we have to record all expenses to expenses paid by the head office. Whatever expenses, salaries, wages, likewise petty cash, petty expenses. What are all expenses is given in the question? We have to write it one by one here in the particular column and we will write the amount in the amount column. Okay, so that's all in the debit side. Now moving on to the credit side. In the credit side, as it is, as we are going to record only receipts in the credit side, we will record by cash. What we will record under cash? We will record cash sales and cash collected from debtors. Okay. Uh, whatever cash sales the branch makes that should be remitted to the head office and whatever cash is collected by the branch from the debtors that amount will also be remitted to the head office. Okay, after recording this, see here we are recording goods sent to branch. The head office will send the goods to the branch office. If there are any goods which are unsold, any stock which is not sold by the branch office, it will return goods to the head office. So if there is any returns that we have to record it in the credit side by goods returned. 
by branch. If the branch is returning any goods to the head office, that amount will be recorded in the credit side. So that's all. These are the entries that will be recorded in the branch account. After this, we have to tally it. Just like a ledger account, we have to tally it. We will find the total of the branch account. If your credit total is more than the debit total and if you are finding the balancing figure in the debit side, it will be called as profit. This is profit. This is your balancing figure. If your balancing figure is on the credit side, if your debit total is more, then this is loss. This will be, this balancing figure will be loss. So this is the format which I explained you in the previous slide. See, we have recorded all opening assets and then closing assets. Then we are recording opening liabilities, closing liabilities. Goods sent to branch, expenses paid by the head office. Cash sales, cash collected from debtors, goods returned. Tally the account. If the balancing figure is in the debit side, it is, it is profit. Okay, it will be transferred to general profit and loss account. If you get the balancing figure in the credit side, it is loss. It will be transferred to general profit and loss account. Okay, now if you are thorough with the format, preparing branch account is very easy. Okay, so I will explain this with a problem. This is the question that I have taken. Uh, let us read the question from the following particulars. Prepare branch account in the head office books. Stock is given. Stock on 1193, debtors on 1193, petty cash, goods sent to branch, credit sales, remittance from branch cash sales, cash received from debtors, check sent to branch for salaries, rent and taxes, petty cash, stock on 31-12-93, petty cash on 31-12-93, debtors on 31-12-93, goods returned by branch. So these are the information that is given in the question. Based on this information, we have to prepare a branch account. So, I have given the heading branch account. Since the name of the branch is not given, I have simply given it as branch account. And we have a debit side and we have a credit side. Okay. In the debit side, as I already told you in the format, what is the first item that we have to record? We have to record the opening balance of assets. So, two balance brought down. Look into the question what are the opening balances? Stock on 1193, debtors on 1193, petty cash on 1193. These are the opening balance. So we will record it one by one. Now we have recorded all the assets, right? written the amount in the inner column, added it, brought the total to the outer column. After recording opening assets, the next entry is you have to record goods sent to branch. So two goods sent to branch. The amount that is given in the question is 2,52,000. So I am writing the same amount, 2,52,000. After recording goods sent to branch, we have to record all expenses. The branch is sending check to branch for all the expenses. So I am writing it to bank account. Put a colon and write all the expenses one by one. What are the expenses? Salaries, rent and taxes, petty cash. Okay, so we have recorded all the expenses, written the amount in the inner column and brought the total to the outer column. After this, we have to record closing liabilities. Look into the question. In this question, we don't have any closing liabilities, so we are skipping that. Now, moving on to the credit side. In the credit side, the first entry that we have to record is opening liabilities. Look into the question. We don't have any opening liabilities, so I am skipping that. The next is we have to record cash sales and cash collected from debtors. So by cash, we are putting a colon, cash sales. Look into the question, how much is the cash sales? See the cash sales is 60,000. So I'm writing the amount in the inner column and cash received from debtors is 2,10,000. See the question, it is 2,10,000. So cash received from debtors it is 2,10,000 add it bring the answer to the outer column 
okay now after this we have to uh, record any goods returned by the branch look at the question the goods returned by branch is given it as 2000 rupees so we are recording that by goods returned by the branch the answer is 2000 rupees okay now we have recorded all the items we have to record closing assets so write by balance carry down and we will record the closing assets one by one we have recorded all the closing assets now we have to find the total uh, by observing itself we can see that the credit total is more if you add the credit side the total that you will get in the credit side is 3 lakh 45000 3 lakh 45,200 is the total of the credit side. So I am writing the same total on the debit side also. 3 lakh 45,200. Okay. Now we have to find the balancing figure. Balancing figure is 36,300, which will be transferred to general profit and loss account within bracket balancing. figure so this is a profit since we have the balancing figure on the debit side this is a profit so this is how we have to prepare branch account very simple we will record uh, if you understand the format this is a kind of a fill in the blanks only if you remember the format it is very easy now i'll explain you one more problem the next question that i have taken is h limited opened a branch on madurai from the following information prepare branch account stock on 1498 is given stock on 31399 is given so 1498 will be the opening stock 31399 will be the closing stock then credit sales cash sales receipts from debtors debtors on 31399 that is closing debtors is given goods received from head office goods received at head office okay this goods received from head office is goods sent to branch head office is sending the goods and branch is receiving the goods goods received from head office the branch is receiving goods from head office so this is goods sent to branch what is this then goods received at head office on 31399 head office is receiving goods from the branch office that is returns goods returned by the branch on 31399 also is given so it is very specific at the end of the accounting year the branch is returning the remaining unsold stock lying with it so this is goods returned by the branch then expenses paid by the branch okay these are the information given in the previous problem we prepared branch account straight away but in this problem we have to prepare branch debtors account okay now you can ask me why we did not prepare branch debtors account in the previous problem because in the previous question opening debtors opening debtors closing debtors and cash collected from debtors all these three information were given so we did not prepare branch debtors account but in this problem see closing debtors debtors on 31399 is given then receipts from debtors cash collected from debtors is given but opening debtors is not given so to find out this missing information we are going to prepare branch debtors account okay in the previous problem all these three information all these three information were given we did not prepare branch debtors account but in this problem opening debtors is not there so we are preparing branch debtors account to find out the opening balance of debtors okay this is the format for branch debtors account branch debtors account is a asset this is an asset ledger account we are preparing ledger account for an asset so we have a debit side and we have a credit side i have already taught you in my ledger accounts video if you are preparing a ledger account for assets then the increase in value of asset will be debited and the decrease if the value of asset decreases we will credit it okay okay now in the branch debtors account we will record only debtor related information now go moving to the question 
opening stock and closing stock will not affect the debtors in any way. So we are not going to record that. Credit sales. Credit sales will increase our debtors. We are making sales. The customer is not paying cash. So he will be our debtor. So when we make credit sales, what happens? Our value of debtor will increase. If our value of debtor increases, we have to record it in the debit side. If the value increases, we will record it in the debit side. So I am writing it as to recorded credit sales. Then cash sales. Cash sales will not affect the debtor's account. So we are skipping it. Receipts from debtors. So we are receiving cash from our debtors. When the debtors pay cash, what will happen? The value of debtors will go down. When the debtors pay us cash, then it will decrease the value of the asset. So we have to record it in the credit side by 37,900. Okay, then data is on 31,399. This is our closing data. You know the closing value, we will write it only at the end. Branch data account is an asset account. So or the asset opening balance will be recorded in the debit side. Closing balance of the asset will be recorded in the credit side. But before writing the closing balance, we will just check if there is any other debtor related information. See goods received from head office. This will not affect the debtor account. Goods received from Received at head office, this will also not affect expenses paid by the branch. This will also not affect the debtor's account. So we will record the closing balance by balance carry down. It is given as 9160. Okay. Now, before tallying this ledger account, I will just tell you that is uh, in other problems, what are the other data related information will be given. You may be given bad debts. You may be given discount allowed. All these things. So bad debts, discount allowed, goods returned by debtors. All these things will decrease the value of the asset. So it, all these items must be credited. In this problem, we don't have that. But if you have that, you have to credit it. In the credit side, we will write by bad debts, by discount allowed, by goods returned from by debtors. All these things we will write. Now, in this question, we don't have that. So, we are tallying the ledger account. Total of the credit side is 47,060. This is the highest total. So, I am writing it on the debit side also. 47,060. Now, let us find the balancing figure. Balancing figure is 47,060 minus 41,000. You will get 6,060 as the balancing figure. This balancing figure will be our opening balance to balance brought down within bracket balancing figure as I already told you by preparing debtors account you will be able to find out the missing figure in this problem opening asset is missing so that will be our balancing figure is that clear okay now moving on to prepare branch account so first I have given the title Madurai branch account and we have a debit side and we have a credit side as you all know, in the branch account, the first item in the debit side will be the opening balance of assets. So I am recording two balance brought down and look into the question what all assets we have. We have stock on 1498 opening balance and opening balance of debtors which we have calculated. So we have to record these two items. I have recorded opening stock and debtors and bringing the total to the outer column. It is 30,000. 60. After recording opening assets, the next item is two goods sent to branch. Look into the question how much is the goods sent to branch? It is 30,000 rupees. So we are recording this 30,000 rupees in the amount column. Then we have to record expenses to expenses paid by branch. So two cash account it is 10,400 that's all we don't have closing liabilities so we are skipping that we don't have opening liabilities we are skipping that now we are recording by cash account under cash account we will record cash sales and cash collected from debtors okay I found the total and brought the answer to the outer column. After recording this, we have to record goods returned. So by
buy goods returned see in the question it is given as 3600 so i am recording it 3600 okay after this we will record closing assets by balance carry down what are the closing assets we have see we have closing stock closing stock and closing debtors recorded the closing stock and debtors and the total i am bringing it to the outer column it is 27160 now we have to tally the ledger accounts find the total of the debit side and the credit side the credit side total is 86,160 which is which seems to be higher than the debit total so I am writing the same total in the debit side also 86,160 and now find the balancing figure balancing figure is 15,700 since we have the balancing figure on the debit side we have a profit it will be transferred to general profit and loss account within bracket B dot F so hope have understood how to prepare branch account under debtas method thank you for watching